normally the starting center not available. Jaron Kump is the center. A deep drop, Nate Johnson wide open, the pass complete. Maneer McLean dancing down to the 20-yard line, the transfer from USC, and the junior from Atlanta. And in this case, you have an underneath route. Look how the streak route pushes the defense back. All the secondary, the safeties in the corners, and then you have the long drag coming underneath, and that's how they chunk, get a big chunk of play, a yard for the first down. 33 yards to McLean, his first catch of the season. Two wide receivers, one tight end, or two tight ends, I'm to say, 12 personnel. And they do his quarterback sneak. Nate Johnson powers behind the center. Jaron Kump, he is in. Touchdown, Utah. Just a different look, but the same reaction. That offensive line got a good push against the Wildcats right up the center. We'll play in football as a quarterback sneak. Ten plays, a drive that used over five minutes. And on second down, they'll throw it. And the pass to the outside is complete to Jalen Record, the transfer from SMU. And, and be hard on offenses. A third down, Johnson in trouble. And he goes down, sacked inside the 10. Jack Kelly, the first man there. Just Along wanted, with Garrett Beck. Some works. They run a double game up front with the, t the t ET stunts. In comes in, and the, the tackle goes around. And it's just too much for the Utes off offensive line to pass off. There's absolutely nowhere to, for for Nate Johnson to go with. But Jaquindon Jackson comes back in the game, which is a great sign for Kyle Whittingham. And a burst by Jackson. Gets to the second level. He's in Weber State territory. And he looked really good on that carry and that burst. Hobbit opening up the hole. Look how they secure everybody on the line of scrimmage. Yes, you have a corner crash coming in, but it's ineffective because you get downhill so fast. Look at the line. Look at the line. Look at the line. Oh, my goodness. That's a beautiful thing. Blocking everyone. Covering up those white shirts. And they'll run it. And Glover, again, it's Wilson off the edge with the tackle for loss. I'm by the Wildcats. Not as much secure of the line of scrimmage. You see right there coming down the line of scrimmage. Makes a nice play. Here at Rice Eccles Stadium is Abraham Williams. He'll bring it out. The electric return man for Weber State finds his seam. And Williams cuts it back. And he's tripped up across the 40-yard line. There's there's an injured Utah player. Take a look and see if we can see what happened. And here's the hit. Oh, the cleater. Mm, vicious one. Kylan Weiser in his sixth career start. And he hands it off in a big hole, cutting it back to Mont Bankston. And Bankston inside the 20. Bankston, hold down inside the 10, first and goal, Weber State. Zamaya Vaughn with a touchdown saving tackle. Caught the Utes on their heels, not knowing what to expect. Did not look for the inside give. I think they were thinking someone was going outside. And credit the Wildcats of Weber State with a nice big chunk. And that's that play that lit up this sideline. It didn't score, but this play puts them, gives them a lot of energy, force in the right direction. Good job, Weber. 47. Right back on the ball, hurry up. Catching Utah on their heels. Jackson again. He is in. Touchdown, Weber State. Chris Jackson. Look at me. I got to give some love to the Weber State offensive line. Look at it. Look how many white shirts are pushing the red shirts back in the end zone. And the screen. Mikey Matthews gets through. Matthews. Across the field, first down and more for Matthews. Down the sideline, run out of bounds by Abraham Williams. Well, you talk about a, a backbreaker there. And, of course, Matthews does the rest with his legs running, using his speed to cross the field. Not only does he get the first down, but gets a huge chunk of yards after the catch, after the first down, and put, before he's pushed out of bounds. 40 yards. And a lot of them coming after the catch for the freshman from Irvine, California, Mikey Matthews, who the Utah coaches. First down, flipping sides is Jaquinda Jackson. As down the line, Money Parks in the perimeter, breaks a tackle. Down the sideline, cuts it back, he's in. Touchdown, Utah. Terrific effort, Money Parks, his second score of the season. Abraham, Abraham Williams is playing off. Look at the space he gives, and then Money Parks uses his speed. Picks up a nice block and is able to scoot in the end zone.
And look, for the most part, the, the, the Utes have dominated this game. Aside from that one series from Weber State, they've controlled the line of scrimmage, and of course, a big kickoff return off of the squib. Hayes Hadley, who was the up back in front of Abraham Williams, minute and a half to go until halftime, and they flip it. And trying to turn the edge in the corner there, and Mikey Matthews was bottled up. And it's Jalen Glover, big hole through the left side. He is in. Touchdown, Utah. You know what I say to that, Roxy? Period. Opens up. Simple handoff. Again, this offensive line dominating. Nobody touches him until he's in the end zone. For Weber State, play action, Weiser under pressure, and he gets dropped, Cole Bishop knifing through. Another safety blitz dialed up by Morgan Scally. The number of hits by that safety, number eight, Cole Bishop, time and time again, you see him run right by the protection, and he's back in the backfield again. You've got to have a man account for him. He's in the box. If you got to do something to, to adjust your blocking scheme. Is that where the quarterback's coming back to the huddle going? Somebody want to watch number eight as an interception. Lander Barton brings it back. Touchdown, Utah. The pick six, Lander Barton, the house call. That's beautiful to see. Barton just reads the eyes. Comes out of the blue, comes downhill. Pick six, take it to the house. Weber State with five seconds to go in the third. They'll run it on first down, and Jonah Ellis in the backfield to greet. Alan Weiser climbs the pocket, has the ball stripped, and Utah comes away with it. Logan Fano, the freshman from Spanish Fork, who originally enrolled at BYU, transferred 12 minutes to go. And he runs right around Ortega and gets that strip sack for the turnover for the Utes.